Now I will warn you before you start watching this video that it's pretty creepy crawly. Uh, we've got in here some wheat weevils uh, known as uh, Cytophilus granarius. Um, they're very common and they're a huge pest. They occur all over the world. It's a very common pest. And for farmers and millers, they can produce uh, significant uh, damage uh, for crop yields. Uh, the female, basically, uh, if you can see here, she lays her eggs inside the grain, and if you can just see just there, um, she can detect whether another female has laid her grains in there. And she can lay up to 250 uh, times two different grains and produce uh, almost um, 6,000 offspring. Now they're not capable of flight, they're actually beetles. You can see here these little critters have, have climbed to the top of, of here. These are, uh, this is, uh, these are some naked oats. I'm just focusing in on this so you can actually have a little look at them so you can recognise them. Uh, they're about three to five millimetres in length. Um, they're light brown uh, and the life cycle takes about five weeks but in colder temperatures the life cycle takes up to 20 weeks so these were actually tucked away for almost four months before they hatched um, they're already in the grain so and they go in all sorts of different grains and not just limited to, to wheat You'll find them in oats, these are oats obviously, rye, barley, rice and corn. The thing is that there's lots of different ways that people use to get rid of them. They use pesticides um, and unpleasant scents. Some people swear by putting pepper around their pantry. And there are actually other organisms that are predators of vine weavers. But once you've got them, you're going to have to really, really uh, sort out getting rid of them. So if you find them in your pantry, strip everything that they could eat out, uh, millet, sugrim, any kind of grain, just strip it because they will just keep on returning. Hoover it out, give it a really good clean with uh, white, white vinegar and make sure you get rid of absolutely everything. Um, these have all climbed to the very, very top. In fact, if you, if you have a poke one, they, they do this thing where they just kind of pretend that they're dead uh, in the vain hope that you'll leave them alone. Um, so if I just cover a few more little bits about how to, how to get rid of them. Um, so in terms of prevention, buy your grain in small batches. Uh, and the first thing you should do if you've gone to a stone ground mill or anywhere that might have these, um, is, is you should put, put the grain in the freezer. And the freezer will actually help to, uh, to kill the eggs and get rid of them. Uh, there are a few other things that you can do as well. Um, buy your grains in small quantities. If you buy large sacks of something, you can't necessarily get them in the freezer. The other thing that I would suggest as well is is that you just buy some buy um, you keep you keep your grain in glass jars because uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see this close, but they're perfectly capable of chewing through uh, plastic. I've seen them through chew through plastic. And, and, and paper offers uh, no difficulties whatsoever, but I've never seen them get out of glass jars. So if you store your grain like I have in here, in a glass jar, there's no chance that they can get out and infest anything. Um, apologies if I've completely grimmed you out, um, but I thought it was a good idea just to show you these so you've got a good idea. And you can also have a look and see, can you see this little, um, well, they've, that one's moved it out of the line of vision. But if you can have a little look down here at the holes in the grain, that's another sign that there are, that those uh, weevils are in there because they've climbed out. You can't necessarily tell if a female's laid her eggs in there because when she climbs in, she climbs back out again and uh, she seals it with a little sort of gelatinous kind of mix. So visually you can't tell, and as I say, the, the, the absolute best way that you can avoid getting these little critters, if you buy from, a, from any uh, source, farmers, mills, or, or even just online, is to chuck your bag for at least a week, at least a week into the freezer, and that will uh, ensure that you don't get an outbreak of these. Um, 
find them weirdly fascinating, actually. So uh, I'll leave you with that thought for a moment. Let's have a little look at them. <laughs>